When it comes to assignments and deadlines, we know that there are always a number of exceptions that might need to be made for students. This video talks about start dates, due dates and end dates, as well as showing how students can be provided the extra time needed to submit documents electronically, if they have a valid personal reason and you have agreed to give them an extension. We also show how you can see late submissions in the electronic submission folder. The first thing to note about assignments is that you can specify start dates and due dates. Those are exactly what they say. The start date and time indicates when students are able to click on the link. Prior to the start date, they will see the link's name, but are not able to access the link or the content associated with it. Between the start date and the due date, they can read the link, see what they have to do for the assignment, upload their work until the due date. After the due date, they will still be able to see the link, access it and upload their work. However, any work uploaded after the due date will be marked as late. This is shown here in an example of the submission folder. Here we see that students have submitted on time, and here we can see students that have submitted late. The end date can be set on any item in Brightspace, including assignments, but we do not recommend you use it. If you use the end date, after that end date and time, the link is not accessible anymore. In the same way as before the start date, the link title is visible, but students will not be able to access it anymore. This restriction to that content can lead to students emailing you out of frustration if they want to review that content item, perhaps for an exam or later on for whatever reason. As a result, we recommend you never set the end date and time unless you really do need it. Now we will look at how you can provide the ability to open up the submission folder to students who need special access without opening it up for the entire class. In Brightspace, you do that by going to the course admin link, going to the assignment submission folder using the assignments link. Once there, right click next to the submission folder you wish to edit. Use the drop down next to the name and select edit submission folder. Don't change any of the settings on the first tab, but go to the second tab under restrictions. These restriction dates and times that you see here should match what you have set in your course earlier. So again, don't alter these. Scroll a bit further down and use the special access area. Use the first radio button, allow users with special access to submit files outside the normal availability dates for this folder. What we're going to do here is we're going to click add users to special access and then alter the due date for these users. Do not, for the same reason as mentioned earlier, use the end date. Simply adjust the due date. The default due date shown will be the existing due date for the assignment. If you're giving some students extra time, for example an extra week, select it and select the students for whom that applies. Click Save and those students will then be shown in the summary below to have that special access to the folder for the additional time. Now if those students who you've given special access to upload work prior to their new special end date and time, their work will not be marked as late. If they submit after their special due date, of course, then it will be marked as late. In this way in Brightspace, you can control the access for submissions for the majority of your class, as well as make exceptions for students in a straightforward way. The summary list of students who have been given this special access will remain here for you to refer to.